hey guys and welcome to my youtube channel yes i know finally <laughs> so i'm known as red hair crazy and i'm a london based stylist and um today i'm just gonna go through a quick wash wrap and uh wash wrap mold and a style um it's you know my hair is pretty short it's a short pixie so it's really easy i prefer it that way i don't like to do a lot i don't like to add a lot of heat to my hair so you know easy quick styling is definitely my go-to okay so um those were all the tools and um tools and products that you would have needed um that i was showing you before and then now we're using the air technique of which i just place the comb onto my hair air and just kind of like bend it right over to the middle and that will just give you the exact um starting point of which you need to do your flat wrap so that's just me now just checking that over making sure it, your, your line also doesn't have to be like solidly straight do you know what i mean as long as you know that that's your beginning to just kind of like place the hair around um, um this is me just, just combing my hair out now um i must also say guys that my relaxer is pretty fresh i had a relaxer probably a week ago um prior to this video so um combing and managing the hair is really really simple and it's much easier once your hair is freshly relaxed if you've got lots and lots of regrowth it will be much more difficult okay so now i'm adding uh, my lot of body foam just distributing that um throughout the hair and kind of like patting it in i think in regards to the foam you just use as much as you need really don't overdo it but you need enough foam to kind of just make the hair just easily movable and workable so really honestly guys do not be afraid all right um so this is me just using my tail comb and just combing through the hair ensuring that everything is nice and smooth do use two hands guys use one hand to comb down the other one to smooth the hair down super important tip right there one hand won't do it okay so once you kind of like comb that into place you just and you know whichever way you want your part in you can put your part in in um at this point once everything is kind of like combed down um ensure that your little sideburns and all of that is where you want them to be i'm not going to specifically say put them left or right because when it comes on to short cuts they are based on the your own face shape so you know all you're doing is framing your face all right so that's my wrap there i'm pretty happy with that went through that with the comb then i'm gonna go over with a flat brush um any flat brush is fine as long as you can manage the the, the, the texture and coarseness or whatnot of it <laughs> a flat brush of any sort and so we're just gonna kind of just brush that in and make sure that that is really nice and smooth and just entirely 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 flat um i think at this point is when um, most of my clients normally say oh it's stopped working or the foam's gotten funny or it's gotten runny listen guys if you need to add more feel free to add more there is absolutely nothing wrong with that i double triple quadruple check my wrap all the time all right so feel no way if you need the products use the products okay um for easier life and now i'm gonna go in with our hair essential edge brush um my edges are really really fine and um i'm just kind of like recovering not really just but i had color on um last summer so my hair is basically rebuilding from that and it, my edges are the most affected once i do anything to my hair so um yeah you can just use your edge brush you can make waves if you want i will be doing another video soon um showing you guys how to wave and just do like molded fronts but she'll say this is the first one you just went in really simple and easy because honestly this is what it is i want you guys to be able to just do quick easy effortless styling because it's really it is quick and easy so yeah that's my wrap and that's me done and now we're gonna go in with our um wrap papers or wrapping strips um quick tip use a bit of foam on your first strip to hold it together and that will just stay in place while you add the the rest um instead of using clips and so forth in regards to the papers guys they you i mean if you're familiar with them they sometimes they do break you know so <laughs> don't get too mad at yourself <laughs> just keep going 
until you get the job done you see like for example that one just broke yeah so yeah you just keep going don't feel any type of way it does happen you did not get a, well you did get a bad batch but these strips are not really made to be doing what we're doing this for okay these are barber strips so they're meant to, they are, are also known as neck roll so they're not really for this purpose but we use them for this purpose if you want really sturdy um wrapping papers i do recommend wrap it strips um you can find those on amazon so you know i feel no way but these are sometimes you get a good batch i'm not gonna lie but sometimes you get absolutely rubbish batch but they're quite cheap and um yeah no it's cheap they're affordable so you know we do tend to just use these um, as you can see me layering on the papers honestly guys use all parts of the body the chin the mouth to put these papers together or to hold them in place all right you specifically need about two to three at the back um three on top and an extra maybe two to seal um, that's our hair essential head wrap. I'm so proud of that thing. Oh my gosh, we've got more coming very, very soon. We're literally sold out. So happy. So, so happy. Um, yeah, so then we cover up and then, oh, this is me literally the next day with my um, flat, my papers and everything off. And then I'm just gonna go straight in with a bit of hot hair essential styling wax. Do not worry guys, all of the deeds and information will be left in the description. So do not worry about that. Okay, so these straighteners I got on Amazon. I absolutely love them. They're just, they just do exactly what they need to do and they get all the little short bits and xyz so yeah i thoroughly recommend them so this is me just, just showing you guys all the things that i'm gonna use to get my tongue going so first tip guys please turn the heat down please okay the heat does not to be it doesn't need to be all the way to the max all right honestly um once you're styling your hair it doesn't it, you're not trying to you will never be able to kind of like straighten your roots out do you know what i mean so going with low heat especially if you're just after like a little slight bend it will do exactly that so honestly remember turn your heat down if it goes up to 200 go in at 150 all right you do not need max heat it's just gonna fry your hair all right so i'm just literally just bending it under i'm doing like an under tongue so instead of just you know section in the hair because i'm i just want it bumped a little bit just to add texture and just for it to just kind of look cute when i want to put it the way i want to put it <laughs> so um yeah you just use the tail off the comb lift on the knee and then just bend your your hand lightly with the tongs do not grip the tongs too tightly because you're gonna get some really tight curls you don't want that you want really soft soft curls so just a really light bend should do the job um yeah so this is me now just doing my sides as i said to you before i've got really fine hair and this is just based off of me just doing the most over the years but i mean saying that now i really do look after my hair and i really do care <laughs> so yeah we're just putting in some curls i think i was being really a bit more conscious while i was doing this because normally honestly guys i was just fling two curls in there and i'll be out but you know i try to do a little neatness or whatever um yeah so this is me going in um with the back as well i i will say i'm gonna get better equipment in order to show you guys what's happening at the back more so um, with the back again just a slight bend um you know nothing too tight we're not doing pin curls ladies remember there's a difference between doing a pin curl and doing a light tongue all right so do not be holding and snagging that too tight because the minute you start doing them really 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 tight curls that's when the hair just looks mad so we don't want that we don't want to do them too too tight unless that's what you're going for and you've got the type of textured hair that can manage that my hair is really fine so if i go in with really really tight curls then the direction would just it just wouldn't be there for me that is um my back and i will say as well ladies i literally had a fade a couple of days ago and so my 
listen my head back is looking so sweet i love a little fade um i just think it's easier i don't i don't like to feel anything on the back of my neck so <laughs> A low fade is the one for me. Props to my guy Andrew who cuts my and cut, he doesn't cut my hair. I cut my hair myself and he does my fade. So yeah, big up Andrew for that. Yeah, so with the back, you just kind of just feel as you go. You know, guys, you really have to act as though you got eyes in the back of your head and just feel your way around and just make partings, pick sections up and bend that's how you do the back um other ways of doing it you can get yourself like a three-way mirror um that would work and then um go ahead and yeah just kind of like go in the bathroom if you've got a two-way mirror and then just do it that way that way much easier but if you're just short for time it's a quick feel and tongue and feel and tongue and go okay so that's me done with the tongue in and then now i'm just going to use a little bit more wax and add that and distribute that all over, um, all over my hair. And then I'm just gonna go in with, I use my hands a lot to style, but yeah. So that is our hair essential styling comb. We definitely use the smaller section of that comb as to the bigger section. Or we swip and swipe, swap, honestly. It's just whatever gives you the effect that you're looking for. You know, I always say with, um, to my clients when they're styling just have a look instead of having someone telling you exactly what to do you really have to kind of like look at yourself as you're going and just place the hair in the areas of which you need it or you think it looks better um my um technique is kind of like going backwards and forwards and just pushing the hair in the opposite direction and then back into the direction of which i use it i in which of which i wear it sorry um, so yeah, so that's just me just giving some texture with the comb simple just literally Rake it through and comb the hair down or brush it down with the edge brush and it would just make your sides look much much fuller My side brands are doing a lot right here guys, honestly, but um yeah we'll tame them or fix all them out at some point <laughs> So this is me just I just went in with my edge brush and as I said, I just put the hair as and where i felt it needed to be and that was me done that took me probably around 50 minutes honestly and yeah there we go <laughs>